Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a grabbable action figure. So this video is actually an updated tutorial on my past one that I made, and it's because Rec Room has recently changed their UI. But with that all said and done, let's get started. So, what you're going to need to do is you're going to take out your maker pen, and then you're going to go into palette. So the first thing you need to get is a holotar projector. You could easily get this by searching by searching it up in the search bar and then selecting it. After that, you spawn it in and then you let go of your maker pen. So the first thing you need to do is you need to record yourself. The only thing you really need to do is you need to stay still and mute your mic in rec room. So go to your settings, go to audio and mute your microphone. After that, stay very still and start recording. After you're done with your recording, click on save and when it says upload complete you are now ready for the next step so the only problem is with this projector is that when you're near a certain distance it will turn off but if you're far away it will turn off so in order to turn that feature off all you need to do is take out your maker pen go back to palette and then after that you need to spawn in a variable chip search a variable and this should pop up select it and spawn it in then go back to tools click on configure and click on the red tag after that it would show all of the signals it has a r g and b signal let's turn the r signal to one after that go back to tools and click on connect so what you're going to need to do is you're going to take the red signal which has an output of one and connect it to the green arrow that says play then after that you should be able to go anywhere in your room without the projector turning off perfect now the next step is to make the body so all you need to do is go to palette go back and then find your way to shapes when you found your shape spawn it in and make sure it fits inside your action figure but there's only one thing before you should do this so what you need to do is that if you want to make your action figure any size you want, go back to scale and scale it to whatever size you want. So for me, since this is an action figure, I'm going to scale it to be this big. And then we're going to move in my shape. Make sure it could fit inside your character. And then after that, you should be able to move it in. Make sure it's not peeking out in any of the sides and make sure that it's mostly centered in the middle. Perfect. After that, you're going to go back to your palette, go to the search bar, and then you're going to search up clamp. Perfect. So, the only thing you need to do is you need to spawn in your clamp, go to tools, and connect the clamp with the shape and the projector. So you put the shape and connect it to the main body, and you get the projector and you connect it to the copper pin. And then you go back to configure and configure the projector to hide itself after that when you let go of your maker pen it should disappear completely then go back to configure and configure the shape to be physical with physics mode also don't forget to configure the shape to be grabbable and after that there you go you have your brand new action figure so with that all said and done, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you out, and if I did speak too fast, please rewind the video. But with that all said and done, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!